The operations group is mainly responsible for all game-related technology within CCP, whether it is in production, testing or development. What we do is focusing on all of the technology that is involved in running E-Online and other games within CCP. We focus on the hardware, we focus on the platform side of things, which is the operating system, all of the virtualization elements that are involved in running all of our services. And we also take care of all the development of production code within EVE. In 2008, the database itself had 128 gigs of memory, was running on a RAMSAN storage, and had a peak I.O. of around 40,000 I.O.s per second. Today, we have 512 gigs of memory. We are running on SSDs that take up this much space, and we can support up to 80 to 100,000 IOPS a second. What we are looking into now is yet another upgrade to the TQ hardware. And on the database side of things, we will probably go up to 700 gigs of memory up to a terabyte with better SSDs, with less latency, and even more IOPS. The hardware that used to run E-Online in the beginning was all running on single U pizza box servers, which took out a lot of rack space. We then moved into the Blade chassis system, which gave us much greater manageability and took up less space. The CPUs that are now running EVE Online are four core 3.3 GHz CPUs, but now it is time for yet another upgrade. We are working quite heavily with EVE development in pinpointing what the absolute best CPU for the next upgrade is. We believe we have found the perfect match, which is a new Intel V3 CPU, which has 3.8 gigahertz capability, has 2133 megahertz memory bandwidth, and 25 megabytes of L3 cache. We will be testing this live very soon. We are constantly automating things to make our lives more convenient. One of the things, for example, is the fleet fight system. When you guys sent a fleet fight notification, in the past, we reinforced the nodes manually but now it's all done through an automated process. When an email comes in, the system takes care of it and reinforces the system automatically. All of these improvements in software, hardware, and the way that we deliver code are aimed at improving your life as a player and make EVE run smoother.